What about MP joint rotation, which we have not discussed? An absolutely vital function for positioning the tip of the finger very precisely to manipulate extremely small objects. Which interosseous muscles would you say are responsible for rotation at the MP joint? I would say all of them, except those that insert into bone. I really don't believe that the bony insertions are primarily responsible for the rotation. I could be wrong and I do not know that for certain. But we do know that when we pick up an object, that the shape of our hand very easily accommodates to that shape and in doing so that the metacarpal phalangeal joints have rotated and the fingers thus have rotated. It is possible because of the looseness of the metacarpal phalangeal joint when it is in more extension than flexion. But for us to do that actively and to bring our fingers into a posture of rotation, the interosseous muscles must contract. And it is the interosseous muscles that are inserting into the dorsal apparatus that allow the rotation of that proximal phalanx. The interosseous muscles are primarily responsible for movement of the proximal phalanx in relationship to the metacarpal whether it is flexion or rotation. And the interosseous muscles that are deviators, or if you will, abductors in extension, become rotators when you move into slight flexion. Isn't it magical that muscles can do one thing in one position, but another thing in another position? They can decide which they're going to be, flexors or rotators, or abductors or adductors. Here is a schematic drawing showing the metacarpal phalangeal joint representation. This would be the head of the metacarpal. This is the proximal phalanx. We've, in essence, cut away the dorsal apparatus. This represents the central slip, but imagine that it would come further proximally. But the pull by the interosseous, whether it be dorsal or volar, is what determines the tension on this dorsal apparatus and thus allows rotation of the proximal phalanx in relationship to the metacarpal. 